Is Joe Gibbs Racing about to whack another Toyota team? What seemed like a far-fetched rumor just a couple days ago when it was rumored that Ford was shopping around looking for a new NASCAR Cup Series team, a few names kind of came through the rumor mill. Trackhouse, uh, 2311, Colleague, those are names that kind of popped up that Ford had approached. Well, according to catchfence.com, Ford and 2311 racing representatives met over the weekend uh, in Michigan a few races ago to discuss the possibility of switching 2311 racing from the Toyota camp over to the Ford camp, which is a absolutely monumental development and one that Freddie Kraft kind of hinted about on Door Bumper Clear this past week, and now that not so, now that subtle hint, I should say, seems like a not so subtle hint because it sounds like 2311 Racing and Ford could be headed to the altar, as they say, but I think there's a couple of factors that play into it for sure. The first factor is how serious is 2311 Racing at joining Ford and leaving that TRD camp? Obviously, there's a massive holdup right now, and Denny Hamlin kind of commented on it this weekend at Watkins Glen, saying that he wants to be at Joe Gibbs Racing, and he thinks that Joe Gibbs wants him to remain at Joe Gibbs Racing, but the ball seems to be in Toyota Racing Development, TRD's court, meaning that whatever is going on with TRD and 2311 Racing, that seems to be holding up the contract between Denny Hamlin and Joe Gibbs Racing. Obviously, for Denny to re-sign with Joe Gibbs Racing, 2311 Racing has to re-sign with TRD for 2024 and beyond because he can't race for Joe Gibbs Racing and field a Chevy or a Ford team on the other side. He's not going to get any information from Joe Gibbs Racing. So there is the possibility that when they met in Michigan, it was just 2311 Racing and the representatives from that team doing their due diligence, right? Just seeing what the landscape looks like in case they have to pivot from TRD where they're currently at. Having said that, having an actual meeting is very different than just like picking up the phone or some rumors and being like, hey, like, what do you guys think is going on here? If that meeting actually did truly take place. Where there's smoke, there's fire, and there seems to be something going on here because it seems like Denny Hamlin is getting that Kyle Busch treatment last year, except in Denny's case, he's got his own personal NASCAR Cup Series team to fall back to. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a third charter, which is something they'll have to explore, but I do think that there is some legitimacy to 2311 Racing potentially moving to Ford in 2024. Like I said, Freddie Kraft mentioned it on DBC, which he would have firsthand knowledge being Bubba... Uh, Wallace's spotter and then you have this report from catchfence.com and granted I believe it came from Candace Spencer and at one point I think she said that Brendan Poole was going to end up in a third RCR car after Paul Menard left and clearly that didn't happen so I don't know shoot or shoot right and sometimes you miss so maybe she just missed on that one I'm not 100% sure regardless it seems like there is at least something going on here between these two camps it's no secret now, apparently, that Ford wants to have another team, and it seems like their relationship with Stuart Haas Racing won't go beyond the 2024 season when their contract runs out, and I don't think that that's um, a, a crazy statement to make, because I think both sides might just be kind of fed up with each other. Stuart Haas Racing just hasn't had the performance, and Ford just doesn't seem to be doing, I don't know, what they can to help out their flagship team. Like, obviously, Stuart Haas Racing's the four-car team. That's the top team, or supposed to be the top team at Ford, and meanwhile, Stuart Haas Racing just looked absolutely out to lunch this past weekend and Watkins Glen once again this year, which is unfortunate for Kevin Harvick as he has his farewell season in a really lackluster equipment. So if those four cars from Stuart Haas Racing do leave and do leave the Ford camp, that frees up four spots and four, you know, avenues of assets and, and money that can be used resources is probably the word I was looking for, but whatever, we're not going to edit that out. If all of those resources are now freed up, 2311 Racing just immediately skyrockets up there to become one of those top four teams. And Ford is kind of running their team differently than I think Chevy and TRD are, where it seems like Ford is, you know, rising tide lifts all ships, right? So Ford seems to be not favoring one team per se, like a flagship team. Instead, it seems like they want all of their teams to be competitive. Penske's won a race this year. RFK's won two races this year. Front Row has a race win this year. And it seems like they want all of their teams to be competitive. Like maybe they're all they're all clearly not getting the same resources. Poor Michael McDowell can only get sim time at Ford on Thursday afternoons after the car's already left the shop. But, you know, 2311 Racing does immediately come into that 
team or into that manufacturer if that's what does happen and they make the switch and they automatically shoot right up there to the top like they're going to be on par with Penske on par with RFK at that point and they should be they have two very talented drivers in Bubba Wallace and Tyler Reddick and if they do switch like you have to imagine Denny Hamlin's going to be in a third car I don't know where they're going to get that charter from but you know or if they just run it as an open car but you know it could happen so the, that, that's a really stout lineup right there that's three playoff drivers three playoff contending drivers three race winners uh right there that join the camp uh for ford that's a massive get for ford if you think about from the trd side real quick you know this if 2311 racing does end up leaving the trd camp that's now the third team that's been associated with trd that joe gibbs has essentially gone all tony soprano on and had whacked and gotten rid of First, they went for Furniture Row Racing, put them out of business. Then Levine Family Racing, put them out of business. And now 2311 Racing, and there's just too much money behind 2311 between Denny, Michael Jordan, and the amount of sponsors that they have for them to just go away. But it, I, I don't know what the long con here is, what the, what the plan is for both Joe Gibbs and for TRD, because they have Legacy Motor Club joining the fray next year. And if you're Legacy, if you're Jimmy Johnson and Maury Gallagher now, you're like, man... Do we want to be the fourth door uh, on this Grim Reaper meme as Joe Gibbs is walking down, just, you know, killing each and every one? Like, I don't necessarily know if you want to do that. And for Toyota, all that they did last year uh, and early in the season even was preach about how they want to add another team to the roster for next year because they want more cars out there, specifically for drafting tracks, because they feel like they're at a disadvantage right now because they only have six cars. They would have eight cars next year if they held on to 2311 Racing, but if they lose 2311, they go right back to six cars. And if you're Legacy, you gotta be like, well, I don't know, we might have three years here before Joe Gibbs comes knocking and you know and wants to take our, our, our lives from us. So yeah, I don't know. It's a very weird situation right now and it would be very odd to see 2311 switch over because they literally just ran a car that was completely funded by Toyota just last weekend for Kamui Kobayashi at the Indianapolis road course and they seem to have a pretty good relationship with Toyota. It's very odd how Toyota does these things and you know even their negotiations last year with Kyle Busch all of it just seemed very off and if my thing with TRD is if you don't want them there, Denny Hamlin, Kyle Busch, 2311 Racing, whatever, just say it. Just be like, we're moving on. We don't want to deal with you guys. We're done. We have a, a different plan. Fine. But they just kind of play in this vagary and the semantics of things and don't ever want to be like, yeah, you know, like we just didn't feel that it was a fit or anything anymore. They just always beat around the bush and it doesn't make any sense and then throw subtle jabs. They're like Ty Gibbs in grown-up form. It makes no sense. So yeah, I don't know. 2311 Racing might be switching to Ford, which would look weird but obviously both honestly both Tyler Reddick and Bubba Wallace have driven Fords in the lower series uh obviously Bubba drove a Ford filling in for Eric Almarola at one point Reddick has never driven a Ford in the cup series but he has driven a Ford in the truck series when he was with BKR and Denny's never driven a Ford uh in the cup series because he's only ever driven Chevys and Toyotas so yeah it could be very weird We'll find out what happens, I guess, in the near future, but 2311 Racing to the Blue Oval family might just be happening, and I don't know how everybody's going to feel about that, to be completely honest. So, like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard, Instagram, Twitter, and threads at BreakHardBlog.